Hello and uh, welcome to this exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Wix Booking. And Wix Bookings is an online appointment scheduling and booking system offered by Wix, which is a popular website building platform. Now, Wix allows you to create and manage appointments, classes and uh, services online. And your clients are able to do that, to do that booking directly through their website. To use Wix bookings, you simply come to wix.com and it brings you to this page. If you already have an account, you will click on login. But in case you don't have one, you are going to click on get started either up here or down here. And in this case, we are going to assume that you don't even have an account so that we start it from here. So you click on get started. It brings you to this sign up page. So you sign up using your details. So you put in your details, then you click on sign up. And once you do that, it brings you to this uh, starting page. You can fill in these details who you are creating the website for and all that. For instance, if I click for myself, I'll have to click on continue. So you have to, you can do that for all what you need, the type of website that you need. And uh, you can also skip that directly so that you can just go directly to the templates. So once you click on skip, it brings you to this site where you can now see the templates that are available. All this. Depending on the type of website you want to create, you can simply search here the type of the site that you need. For instance, let's say I need a site that deals with gym. I'll simply type gym and search for that. And I get templates that are related to the gym. This is how they are. So there they are. So you now choose one that you feel fits what you need. But remember, you can always edit this as much as you want. So in this case, let me take the third one. So it takes me to this site where now I'm able to edit this. I can edit the colors and the fonts down here. Then if I'm OK, then I can simply click on save and continue. So it takes me now to this side. I can now see we have bookings here. Let the clients book services online. Then we have video. We can have the pricing. And then we have all these ones down here. Let me click on done. And now it is now preparing my dashboard so that I'll be able to now edit that site. And I'll be able now to use my Wix bookings on that site, of course, after customizing it to what it needs. So there it is. For this case, we'll be talking about the booking services here. And of course, we will need first to update our website so we are able to edit that. Now, to edit this website, we simply come to the upper right hand side up here and you click on design site. It will load and you may have to give it some time. And once it loads, it, it now takes you to this site where now you are able to edit uh, this site. And you can also view it up here on mobile. You can switch to mobile view or to desktop view. So in this case now, if we scroll down, this is how the site looks like and so all these are things that we will be able to edit so if i click on this then i click on quick edit then i'm able to change this i'm able to change the background i'm also able to change the paragraph here and maybe say joshnet best gym and I can now click outside. So that's now what we have there. Then I can also change the photos. If I don't want maybe this photo, I can simply click on that. Then I click on quick 
edit them i'll be able now to change uh, this photo so i simply come here and click on change then i can choose from the photos that are given here depending on the one that fits what i need as my background photo i can also search up here for the tool editor that maybe i may need to use so in this case let me just retain the photo as it is because our interest is to simply show how booking happens so we can now click on add elements here on the top left corner click on add elements then it opens this tag where you now have the option on which element you want to add from images buttons gallery all this up to down here where we have designs in this case we just want to add bookings so i'll click on bookings if i click on that it gives me this booking elements featured service service list uh, book button if that's what i need weekly timetable this here it is daily agenda you notice as i scroll down then on this side it also goes up then we have the shopping cart so i need to just go first to the service list i click on that then on this side of the service list on this list i can simply drag and uh, drop that so i'll drag that and drop it there let me drop it there and you notice it is saving up here so it has added the booking templates here so now these ones are also editable to change this we simply click on manage services up here which will take you now to this site now we want to add a new service so that we can now give it some booking so on this site you see we already have our service list down here already given but we just want to add our own so we click on add a new service and then already you notice here it has already searched for indicated the gym we can just click on that again then we can take one of the templates here then we edit that to be what we would want in this case let's use the one for open gym and we edit that then now we can edit this we can now give it a new name maybe we need to call it private session private session then the service type up here we can uh, select one is it a class is it a course uh, in this case let's assume it's a class you click on class then you can edit tagline here which is optional give a quick intro to your service what it is then you can just type it there again down here you can uh, decide the number of participants maximum uh, you can even reduce that to the number that you possibly want maybe let me type five then you edit that you can come to the price choose how clients can pay for the services then here you can say per session or with a plan or per session or with a plan you can either give a fixed price or varied prices or even free price won't be displayed on your site in case you click free uh, so for fixed price again you can come here and type the price maybe 150 or 1500 or 15000 maybe to make our title unique slightly let's add private we change this name to josh private session josh gym private session so let's now save that here your services was fully added so it shows you that you can start booking online uh, this is for the premium service so but we are not going to be using that so we close that so if we can now go back here to sites and apps then and then for the apps here now i can choose for any app that i can use for bookings in this case i'm going to be using wix bookings so it's already installed so i simply click on wix bookings and i open that
then now I can come up here on booking calendar. Then I click on that. Then it takes me now to this calendar where now I can add my booking. For instance, if I click on that day, you notice that is on Tuesday 18th, 12 p.m. I can either add block time or class session. So if I click on class session, it now gives me the chance to add this class. Uh, maybe this one is base endurance, base heat or base strength. But now remember we wanted to add the booking for Josh Gym private session. So I click on that for the service that I added. Then I can add location. I can add the staff member. In this case, I can add the name. So we click on save. And there we have it. Now we have added a booking for Josh Gym private session. And we can keep on adding all those sessions uh, in weeks bookings. And that is simply how you do that. You can also come to staff and add the staff so that once you are doing the booking here, you'll be able to select the staff that will have the session. Once I click on edit this one, I'll be able to put the details of the staff who will be attending to that. That is including their phone number. And I can synchronize that with the calendar. And uh, they'll be able, if now they have a session, they'll be able to access that. And the person making the booking will also be able to access the details of the person who will be attending to them, plus their contact information. So that is simply how you use Wix bookings. I hope this has been very helpful. We look forward to doing more videos for you. Kindly like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share.